We'd like to explain to you what EU Sustainable Energy Week is, and we want to make it quick, in under three minutes. The EU Sustainable Energy Week, or USEF as we call it, covers two areas. On one side you have the awards, and on the other you have Energy Days. An Energy Day is a not-for-profit event that promotes energy efficiency or renewable energy. This year, these Energy Days will take place between 18th and 22nd of June 2012. One Energy Day alone may not have a big impact. However, when replicated hundreds of times by multiple organisations across Europe, together we could achieve great things. Most importantly, improve people's awareness and change their behaviour, spread renewable energy and energy efficiency best practice examples, and boost investment in clean technology solutions. So, at this point, you're probably asking us to give you some good reasons to organise an energy day in your town or city or region. Well, here they are. You can be part of a European movement bringing change to the EU energy landscape. You can enhance your organisation's international visibility. And you can benefit from our free communication support. The EU Sustainable Energy Europe Awards is the main reference point in Europe for energy efficiency and renewable energies. The awards represents an excellent opportunity to highlight outstanding and innovative projects being implemented in Europe today. Who can take part? Public and private organisations based in Europe. How? Well, you would need to present concrete facts and figures explaining how your project will generate energy savings and or increase the use of renewable energy sources regardless of its size. In other words, your project must make a significant and proven contribution to the EU 2020 objectives with regards to energy efficiency and renewable energy sources. There are five categories. Category 1. Communicating. Projects in this category create awareness, change perceptions, and through targeted professional communication activities, endorse energy efficiency and or renewable energy. Category 2. Consuming. Projects in this category are designed to guide, help manage and reduce our energy consumption, be it directly or indirectly. Category 3. Learning. Projects in this category are all about improving knowledge and skills related to energy efficiency and renewables. They are usually carried out by official training and education bodies, such as schools, universities and training centres, etc. Category 4. Living. Projects in this category aim to make buildings more energy efficient or incorporate the on-site generation of renewable energy. And Category 5. Projects in this category are about anything to do with mobility of people and goods in energy efficient ways or with the help of renewable energy sources. At this point you must be asking yourself why your organisation should participate in the awards. Here's just four of many good reasons. It gives all your hard work the visibility it deserves. Your project will help to inspire others. You can demonstrate your commitment to a cleaner environment. And you will receive important recognition at European level. So, is that all? No, of course not. There's lots of other stuff going on. The EU Sustainable Energy Week 2012 also hosts a policy conference in Brussels, which brings together key players in the sector from all over Europe, as well as exciting events for the general public, which will take place across the city. But this will all be explained in the next chapter. Thank you for tuning in to our presentation and we hope to hear from you very soon.